Good morning, everyone. First and foremost, thank you all for joining us to our first ever interactive webinar. The purpose of our general product overview webinar is the introduction, or for some of you, reintroduction of our current Panther and Tiger product lines. We hope this overview will inspire you and provide a better understanding as how you may interface our products with your specific application. This session is interactive, giving you the opportunity to ask questions or add comments using the live messenger feature that will be monitored during the presentation. The webinar should take approximately 25 minutes, followed by a Q&A session. Here today, assisting and answering your questions are Andreas, Juan, and myself. Teleradio was founded 65 years ago in Sweden, developing, manufacturing, and market safe radio control systems for industrial use. Teleradio America is located in North Miami, Florida, from where we handle sales, support, application-specific engineering, and the shipping of all items out of our fully stocked warehouse. Our mission is to provide end-to-end -end product solutions technologies, and services in the field of wireless equipment control and machine communication, where reliability and safety are the decisive factors. With currently 19 subsidiaries, in addition to many more authorized dealers and partners worldwide, we support our products globally. Now that we learn a little bit about the history of Teleradio, Let's take a look at the products. We introduced Panther 10 years ago, aiming for a modular platform that continues to evolve, providing a safe radio system that is offered in standard off-the-shelf configurations where you may mix and match transmitters and receivers as complete system package, but also as fully customized wireless solution. Panther products are used in industries not limited to lifting and cranes, mining and construction, tow trucks and roll bags, mobile equipment, marine and hydraulics, material handling, and industrial and machinery, just to name a few. Some of the features and benefits include operation in the worldwide accepted license free yet FCC IC approved and certified 2.4 GHz frequency with REC sequent spread spectrum, allowing for interference free of operation of hundreds of systems in the same area without frequency interference. Available fail safe operation, transmitter sends repeated stay alive pulses to the receiver, prompting the safety relays to drop. If the receiver loses sight of the transmitter's stay alive signal, out of range, dead battery, broken transmitter, etc. Selected receivers and transmitters feature preloaded operating modes. If the preloaded modes do not accommodate this to your desired functionality, we offer complete advanced custom programming providing working and star phase relays, interlocking in groups, operating range adjustment, timer relays, sequence operation, automatic shutoff time, and endless other possibilities. Ability to replace transmitters without having to access the receiver, using the transmitter push buttons to prone the safety and easy replacement command. Panther doesn't require dedicated spare transmitters, as one spare may be used universally to replace lost or broken transmitters safely and efficiently, eliminating valuable downtime. Transmitters are available in different sizes and configuration, defined as mini, midi, and robust models. Panther Mini Transmitters 
have an estimated operating range of up to 100 feet line of sight, offered with three, six, or eight single step push buttons. Panther MIDI transmitters with part number PN-T13 have an estimated operating range of up to 150 feet line of sight, operate on AAA batteries and feature three, four, six, eight, or 10 single step push buttons, which can be custom configured. Panther MIDI transmitters with part number PN-T21 use a high Apple power radio with estimated operating range of up to a thousand feet line of sight, are powered with AAA batteries and are also offered with three, four, six, eight, and ten single step push buttons, which can be custom configured. We offer three different Panther Robust transmitters. Our most popular, the PN T19 2 with eight two-step push buttons and mushroom type e-stop. It's CAT3 PLD certified. It may be powered with three AAA batteries using a cartridge or alternatively with rechargeable lithium ion battery. The eight two-step button PN T17 A with mushroom type e-stop is powered by an internal rechargeable lithium ion battery. Our PN T17 12 transmitter offers 12 push buttons and a mushroom type e stop. The estimated operating range based on standard delivery design is up to 400 feet line of sight, however, adjustable by increasing the alpha power for a range of up to a thousand feet line of sight or decreasing the alpha power to limit transmission to as little as one foot. Such allow us to set limits as to how far or close an operator may be to the receiver before the operation is either enabled or disabled. Completing the transmitter overview, let's continue with our review of our receivers. As previously stated, our receivers are designed as modular platform whereas a standard Phi Relay PN-RA1 receiver may be equipped with a 6-relay expansion board, making it a PN-RA-6 or PN-RA-9 by adding a 2-output 0-10V to analog board. Receivers accept 12-24V to DC and the relays are rated at 8 amps max or 4 amps at continuous load. The individual relays are isolated, handling anything from 0 to 250 volts. These features vary based on the actual receiver. Further available are PN-RA-7 with 19 relays, PN-R17-1 with 2, and PN-RA-20 with four transistor outputs and our PN-R18-1 and PN-R18-2 can open and J1939 receivers. Panther receivers with CAT3 PLD certification available with either four function plus two safety relays or 10 function plus two safety relays and preloaded operating modes. At summary, Panther receivers are available with different power supply voltages ranging from 12 to 24 volts AC DC or 48 to 230 volts AC. Digital inputs that allow us to manipulate the state of our relays based on input signals from limit switches, sensors, etc. Potentially eliminating costly PLCs. Our newest member to the Panther family is the second generation modular PN2-R23, which is backwards compatible with all current generation one Panther transmitters. Available with 10 relay baseboard, 
5 relay and 14 relay expansion boards, which may be combined for a total of up to 29 relays plus two safety relays. RS40, no, RS4A5 can and digital in, out, and analog output boards. This new generation is duplex capable, meaning it will be able to receive and send messages. This new receiver also allows for active antenna and up to 15 repeaters for extended operating range. To conclude Panther, here are a few application examples. Shown is a mobile concrete pump equipped with our PN-RA6 receiver and PN-T21-10 transmitter set to highest output power for maximum operating range. The on-off button is linked to one dedicated safety relay that drops and cuts power to the common of all function relays if the receiver loses sight of the transmitter. Feature is our PNS-R171-T1365 system to provide a two-function transistor output receiver that accepts 12 to 24 volts DC usable for a multitude of applications. The system is custom programmable and expandable to provide up to four functions that may be set to provide momentary or maintain outputs. Use is our Panther H-Bridge receiver to provide amperage outputs that allow us to increase and decrease the flow of valves with either 0 to 1200 milliamps, 0 to 100 milliamps, or 0 to 1400 milliamps signal, fully customizable. From simple winch to full motion control of towing vehicles, controlling hydraulic solenoids and pumps. Car haulers facilitate our two-step 12-button transmitter and 19 relay plus 5 relay receiver to control 22 functions. Each of the first 10 buttons are linked to two relays and the remaining two buttons to one relay each for a total of 22 functions plus one working relay to engage the hydraulic pump alongside directional relays plus one safety relay linked to the e-stop. With our new PN-R23 receiver, we will be able to consolidate the two above mentioned receivers into a single unit. Panther use in agriculture for bell wrappers, side on trailers, seed tenders, fertilizer tenders, and more. Show in the fertilizer tender application we were able to remove a PLC and provide the logic using our Panther robust system done with our advanced programming capabilities, making the remote control solution more cost effective. Our Panther MIDI transmitters are a favorite for simple material handling applications like hoist trolleys, jeep cranes, lift tables, below the hook devices, and more. Panther Robot Systems controls 95% of all standard overhead cranes right out of the box without the need for customization. Please join us for our crane and hoisting webinar to learn more about the features and benefits. It will take place on June 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Customizing transmitters and all receivers using personalized faceplates provides a different look, giving our devices your or your customers own identity, yet more importantly, proper function description to the operator. Finally, our Panther product line may be used worldwide. The platform offers many standard off-the-shelf items that are adaptable to countless applications, yet allows for custom programming that is safe, intuitive, 
and has the potential to offer functionality that is otherwise only achievable with external programmable logic. My colleague Andreas will take it from here and talk about our Tiger system. Well, thank you, Fred. Let's take a look at our Tiger G2 and learn how it differs from Panther. Tiger is a full duplex system that allows feedback via transmitter, LED or screen, used to display messages directly from the receiver through digital or analog inputs from load cells, sensors, limit switches or other devices. The SIL-3 PLE certification as part of every Tiger transmitted receiver is the highest safety rating available in wireless control. We use Tiger for the North American market in either 950 MHz or selected transmitters and receivers in the worldwide accepted 2.4 GHz frequency. Systems that operate in the 433 MHz frequency are limited for use in Europe and other continents that do not have limitations as to continuous radio, uh, radio link signals as observed in FCC and IC regulations. As in Panther, Tiger transmitters and receivers are available with preloaded operating modes that adapt to hundreds if not thousands of different applications. In addition to the standard modes, Tiger may be fully customized via advanced custom software to meet your specific requirements. There is no need for each receiver to have a unique backup as one transmitter may be used as universal spare. Transmitters may be replaced from the ground up without the need to access the receiver or the need to have additional hardware. The replacement is simply done by following procedures using the transmitter push button signaling the change. Both the system stop safety function and two dedicated relays are SIL-3 PLE certified. Receivers are equipped with three microprocessors used for monitoring and self-fault detection. One of the three processors is strictly used to monitor the hardware safety and systematic safety integrity. SIL-3 requirements for hardware safety integrity are based on probabilistic failure analysis of the device. The probability of failure per hour as measured in the analysis reflects the potential failure rate as shown in the chart, translating into an almost unmeasurable safety failure rate. Next is an overview of available Tiger transmitters. Push button transmitters shown here are available with minimum of 6 and a maximum of 12 digital buttons, accommodating up to 33 different functions, whereas the 6 and 10 button transmitters have screens. Our analog transmitters feature 6 and 8 proportional plus 4 two step digital buttons. Proportional buttons are used to provide infinitely var variable control. Lastly, our belly box type transmitters that are customizable using the same cabinet, adding toggle switches, potentiometers, or replace the joysticks with stepless pedals to suit variety of different control applications. All transmitters feature a mushroom type e-stop, two-step push buttons, and some of them a screen. The LEDs next to each button on all transmitters and or the screen may be used for feedback from external sources to indicate errors, warnings, weight, pressure or other feedback. It may tell when a relay is latched, limits are reached or indicate the receiver selection as you may control up to 15 receivers with a single transmitter. The estimated operating range in systems using the 915 MHz and 2.4 GHz frequencies is up to 1000 feet line of sight. The range may be adjusted to create safety zones from as little as 1 foot to 1000 feet. Some of the aforementioned settings are field programmable, others only configurable via custom programming or software by our trained technical team. Let's move on to the receivers. 
Receivers are available in different configurations similar to those in Panther. The smallest offers 7 function plus 2 safety relay outputs and the largest 28 function plus 2 safety plus 2 special stop function relays. In addition to that, receivers feature digital inputs. Every Tiger receiver accepts 12 to 24 volt AC DC and 48 to 230 volt AC. Has preloaded pre operating modes that may be used for a variety of applications. Receivers are fully customizable via custom programming to enhance machine control, making it safer, more precise and efficient. Direct machine control via field bus systems like CAN, Modbus, Profibus is available with these receivers that are compatible with any Tiger transmitter. The analog receiver works in conjunction with either proportional joystick, paddle or proportional push-button transmitters. The following application examples may seem simple, yet require either highest safety or feedback, both achievable with custom Tiger. Although you may use standard non-safety rated systems for sensitive applications like the one shown here lifting workers, we will only offer Tiger G2 with highest safety rating to provide peace of mind for you and your customer. To add to the safety, we can implement the Deadman or Push to Operate button via software. Similar scenario shown here, a standard hoist may easily and safely be controlled with Panther. However, controlling any device that transports humans should only be executed with utmost safety in mind. Here's an example of feedback on the transmitter, allowing the operator to monitor and adjust feed rates and other values while freely moving around and having direct access to the safety rated e-stop. The excavator shown in this picture is situated on extremely unstable grounds, preventing safe operation of the equipment in a mine. With that, it was determined that the operator should be relocated to control the excavator from a safe distance. Complex crane applications, example shown here, has a single transmitter control four bridge cranes, each equipped with two hoist trolleys, individually and in tandem, choosing any crane and with that hoist trolley combination. Vacuum and magnet lifter control requires two dedicated buttons that are to be pressed to activate the magnet or vacuum function, in turn energizing the, co the corresponding relay and light up an LED, letting the operator know that the load may be lifted. Once the move of the load is complete and ready to be dropped, operator must press two separate buttons with integrated time delay of two seconds before the relay that holds the magnet or lifter may open. In turn, uh, turning off the LED and with that drop the load. In addition to that, the receiver is custom programmed to keep the relay that corresponds to the magnet or lifter energized, even if the e-stop of the transmitter is pressed, dropping all other relays. Please keep the transmitter customization using personalized faceplate foils in mind, which is especially important when controlling non-standard applications. We hope this brief product overview and the application examples provided a little insight as to how our Tiger and Panther lines may be applied. Please keep in mind that both platforms offer endless customization possibilities through software, so whenever you think of an application that calls for wireless control, yet hasn't been mentioned, done before or requires refinement, give us a call to discuss the options that we can offer. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate it and invite you to stick around to join our Q and answer session. All right, everyone. Morning. Morning. Thank you. For some of you, good afternoon. Just here with any questions you may have. Oh, 
You can also, uh, if you have any application or have any questions, you can also send us an, uh, an email or call our office. Our general email address is usa at teleradio.com or call us here at the office at 305-459-0763. That's again, uh, the number again, it's 305-459-0763. Yeah, um, we'll stick around if anybody has any questions. Again, feel free. There's. Thank you, Joanne. Hear a word from our sponsors. <laughs> thanks, Nicholas, as well. Thank you all. Yeah, in general, thanks for being here. That's a question from um, uh, Tommy, to address your questions, uh, correct, uh, we do not sell Puma in the US at this time. The card ID. Uh, All right, so Alice says, do you have a card ID uh, per operator? Uh, I'm assuming you're you're referring to the uh, RFID. Uh, yes, it, it is possible to have an ID per operator, or you could also have one ID in general. Uh, and the the ID RFID card is used to unlock the transmitter, um, also to enable different functions on the receiver. So it's very versatile. Uh, as we said, the infrastructure of the Tiger is very flexible, which allows to do programming to many different things. So uh, I hope that answers your question. And why don't you go ahead and address uh, Nicholas as well. All right. Hmm. All right, the, the, uh, the two additional relays on, on the Tiger receiver, uh, we have two stop relays and then uh, two um, safety uh, stop re relays as well. So stop relays are used uh, most of the time when uh, um, you don't want to turn off the transmitter with the mushroom e-stop on the bottom. Uh, you could press the star buttons to disengage those relays. So that way you don't turn off the system. Some systems may take uh, several steps and time to come back on and therefore you use those two additional relays uh, to stop anything that's uh, critical without stopping the entire system. Um, again, that was a question from Nicholas about the two additional safety relays on the TGR9. So, hello. Alo, uh, Alo is asking whether the Tiger or the uh, Jag Jaguar series, whether they can work uh, in tandem to control two cranes. Um, the answer to that question is, uh, Alo, if you were to have two Jaguar systems, one on each crane, then yes, they can be set up for a tandem crane operation. And uh, the same for Tiger, you can have uh, two cranes, each equipped with one Tiger system and they may be set up to operate the cranes individually and or in tandem. That being said, you cannot mix uh, the Tiger and the Jaguar series. They're completely uh, different as far as technology and communication protocol go. So they are not compatible with one another. Questions? Okay. Um, 
Um, Kevin, Kevin Anderson, good morning Kevin. Kevin is asking uh, whether, the, whether we charge for the pre-programmed uh, operating modes that are available in Tiger, if I understood the uh, uh, question correctly. Um, Kevin, each receiver within our Tiger product line features X amount of preloaded operating modes. The operating modes determine what relay is in an energized in conjunction or, or corresponding to what push button. Those operating modes are part of the system. We don't charge extra for it. However, if the operating modes that are available do not accommodate the desired functionality, at that point, yes, we do charge for adding functionality that is not available with the preloaded operating modes. Uh, Tommy also asked uh, about other feedback possibilities in Tiger uh, systems and uh, where there may be a good example of where they, they're used and advantages. Uh, definitely when you want to get uh, warnings from PLCs or, or from your system, uh, that, that's a good place to use them. When um, um, you want to get pressures, when you want to get weights, um, any, anything that's going on in your system could be sent back as a feedback. So um, if you want to have complete monitoring your, your remote or your, your system, um, anything is, is possible to get through feedback. So I don't know if that, if you have anything else to add guys on, on the feedback. Negative. I mean, sky's the limit as far as feedback goes. I mean, we have so many different applications that we uh, uh, where we implement feedback. So it could be anything you can think of. Anytime you need feedback from your machine, uh, right? And feedback could also go back to the receiver. So you could also tell the machine something that's going on with your transmitter. Uh, for example, low battery or or low uh, loss of signals or uh, you know. So feedback is, is bi-directional, so it's not only coming back to you on, on the handheld unit, but also on the stationary unit on the receiver. You could also send feedback through uh, a PLC via any of the bus, buses that, that were previously mentioned. Um, so it, it's, it's bi-directional. Uh, Keith, uh, Keith is asking a question or making a statement. He's currently using the T20RX with a key fob, with a fob. I, I assume, uh, Keith, you're using uh, a T20 uh, transmitter, small one, and uh, you're stating that your distance is less than 100 feet. Um, that being said, our little key fob transmitters, granted you use one of them, I don't see the part number of the transmitter you actually use, uh, they're generally speaking limited to approximately 100 feet line of sight. Now, if you add potential uh, machine noise, motor noise to it or so, it could well be that the uh, signal drops slightly. It will also depend highly where the receiver is mounted. Is it mounted inside a control panel, which may shield the antenna? Is the antenna mounted high up for maximum visibility? There are many different factors uh, that would uh, basically um, contribute to loss of signal. So if you uh, would like, give us a call later on and, and we'll talk about it in some more detail. Uh, let us know where everything is mounted and how and what you would like to achieve and maybe we can come up with some alternatives that give you the range that you're looking for. I'll post our phone number there uh, for you, Keith, as well. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Anderson, I would like to, if you're still there, Kevin, I just want to see, was the answer that we provided earlier satisfactory or did you have some other questions regarding the uh, preloaded operating modes in Tiger? Hmm.
the RE9. You want to take it? Yep, sure. Uh, so the R9 um, um, has, uh, as we mentioned, 0 to 10 volt output. Uh, typically, this is used when you want, you have a probably talking also to a PLC or something that uh, could, let's say, uh, ramp speed. Uh, so the 0 to 10 will set the ramp uh, uh, to a specific desired speed and then you're able to move the machine left or, or right or whatever other functions you have. So typically it's used to set some kind of speed on the machine and then you have other buttons which allow you to uh, move the, the machine um, uh, with, with the other functions. Uh, so that's what you typically what the R89 is used for. Um, for example, we used it, I, I think, uh, um, on a turn type uh, um, bed, uh, there was a machine that's on, on top of, of like a turn bed and uh, we set the speed, let's say five volts is halfway up to full speed. Uh, you set it at five volts and then you're able to move the machine at uh, that desired speed, half of the maximum speed. Anything else? But then there was a gentleman there, Allo, um, asking if the joystick version can have an iPad tablet to check the PLC and the cameras of the, of the crane. Uh, well, at this moment we don't uh, we don't have, but we can use the, the the feedback from the Tiger system to read on uh, certain um, again warnings or uh, weight. <laughs> Temperature, I mean, you name it, uh, but unfortunately, no, we don't have a, a tablet that can sync to uh, any of our systems at the, at the moment. Um, Tommy? Tom, Tommy uh, also mentioned regarding the ranges and how it could be affected, uh, especially at sea. Uh, um, the only thing that I would say that would affect the range would be something that is uh, broadcasting or sending signals at the uh, whatever frequency you're using. I don't, I don't know which system exactly you will be using, Tommy, but um, we've tested some systems uh, and we get pretty good range in, at, at sea. Uh, we have some applications where we, we got even better than the ranges that uh, we've uh, discussed here on the presentation earlier. So typically on sea, for the most part, as far as I don't know if you guys have any have seen any differences in that, but uh, uh, what we see is pretty good ranges, even better than what we posted. Actually, we we just Tommy in in, uh, in correspondence to your uh, question, we actually just had a customer who tried one of our uh, uh, Panther system, the little transistor output receiver uh, with a, a PN T twenty one dash. Three, I think it was transmitter, and uh, he used that system to actually explore the range at sea. And uh, the way it is applied, uh, the system is mounted inside some kind of uh, uh, um, what is it like a mooring system and uh, controlled at up to 1,000 feet. And the uh, customer was uh, quite pleased with the operating range that he achieved. So I think we got pr pretty much. Uh, close to our maximum operating range of 1,000 feet on top of the water where there's really nothing where the signal can bounce off of. So we were quite, uh, quite pleased with the results. Uh, on a side note, we, we mentioned it earlier, I see there's a lot of uh, um, uh, crane guys in our, uh, in our session here. Uh, just a quick reminder, on the, seven, uh, on the 24th, one week from today at 11 o'clock, we have a, um, a presentation that is very specific to crane and hoisting applications. 
So we're going to go through tons of stuff that we have done uh, uh, with our Panther and Tiger system specific for cranes, like special application. We go beyond your standard three motion, two speed, uh, single hoist, dual hoist cranes, uh, multiple cranes, single transmitter, feedback capabilities, festooness systems, and so on. So there's going to be a lot of information available uh, uh, that we have not presented here. So now that everybody is somewhat familiar with the uh, platforms that we offer, we want to concentrate more on the uh, applications that we can offer or the um, the uh, solutions that we offer for your application. So just food for thought, if you have time next week, join us, please. Uh, yes, Derek. Uh, Derek asked if there will be a link. Yes, so a link that will be sent for the presentation. Uh, you wanted to post it here. Um, let me see. The, the, regardless, Derek, there will be an email sent. Uh, hopefully, you're in that list and. Um, and you will receive the link for that uh, new uh, webinar for the lifting. Thank you guys, Tommy, Nicholas, take care guys. So if we don't have any further questions, uh, I would say let's wrap it up. And uh, again, you have our phone number, you have our uh, email address, go to our website, teleradio.com, you find our contact information. If you have any question that remained unanswered, anything that we need to add to, Feel free to give us a call, send us an email. We'd be more than happy to address everything uh, in greater detail as needed. So we appreciate you joining us. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to wrap it, guys. Thank yeah. you. Thank you Take once care. more. We appreciate your time and your business.